What's up guys, this is The Road From and I am back bringing you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's play as Mexico. So to round off where we left off last time, I was laying siege to Philadelphia. And you know what? I'm going to attack it. Granted they got forts, I've not got much artillery, but their troops are significantly weaker, they have no mortars, I think we can make a real go of it. I've got some troops to reinforce me, but they're pretty knackered, so I probably want to do something like this. Because troops would be what I need, what I, what I think I would need probably. But yeah, let's crack on. We can strike a real death knell. Action. Secure their capital. The place of the Declaration of Independence was signed. Maybe. I haven't seen it. But, you know, I think this is going to absolutely break their back. While at the moment we've been picking at the periphery, the loss of Boston was big. We've been pushing them up from the south. But we're going to finally capture Philadelphia, which I think is going to be pretty devastating. They might have to attack me to have one last gasp, but I don't think it's going to make much difference. So let's keep... These units are my weaker, weaker units. Here, protect the guns. Protect the guns and... Get ready to go into the breaches. Let's put these guys on the flank and be ready to respond and suddenly deploy people into square and things like that. Oh god, they're coming right at where my reinforcements are! Okay, so firstly, let's get these guys all hit a section of the wall. But this is going to be mighty uncomfortable. So I'm only going to get two units. Form square immediately. <laughs> and this next unit. Form square. I've never seen that before. You think as they're glaring to the red line, they're just, you know, going, I see you. I was about to say this might not be necessarily effective, but to be honest, we're doing some good damage to them and they're losing a lot of cavalry. They're going to throw more cavalry into the mix. Oh no, they're, oh, they're going to shoot. That would be a use... Well, that's not a useful thing to do now, because they're going to kill a load of their own guys. Well, I'm keeping an eye on if they try to move that way, but I don't think they are. God, they're sending in some guerrillas in to do some fighting too. So he's broke. They've broke square. So make them redeploy square, I suppose. Get okay, a lot of bonuses for fighting in square formation against cavalry. What are the guns doing? Still knocking away. Third of the way there. This is the more interesting bit. If we can make the Curassiers route, I'm more than happy to get into a regular combat with the Bowmen. The fun thing is, if one of my units routes, then another unit's going to walk on right here as well. Where are you going? I love how he's looking towards them. He's like, you guys got this! As he runs off. Okay, so they've dropped, so they've fell out of square and they're falling back, so let's engage conventionally.
Fifty percent. Yeah, they're getting some people inside the walls, but it's not going to be a game changer. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, we're doing okay. We're winning. Both of their guys are losing. But we've only got... We've not got as many men. And here we go. Here's the game changer from their perspective. So who's going to come in? Colonial militia. Oh... Now they keep fighting towards the outside. Come on, militia. Let me gain control. You're losing. You've lost seven men. Pfft. Just marching st stoically through the combat. Oh, the, um, the uh, cavalry's routed. No, don't shoot them. Bobs. <laughs> so after all that, it eventually became a win. Although, are we going to lose fighting some Dragoons on foot? It says run people into position, reload, and give fire. Oh no. They're going to flee. Let's move up my, my army over here. Yeah, they're lagging it. They've <laughs> just gone, nope, and <laughs> ran for it. So let's take. Oh no! Let them, let them actually blow a hole in it. Then I'll start targeting my one unit of cavalry, no, my foot artillery here, my my um, howitzers at something. Come on, one more. Got him. Well, actually, what I might do is take the users as an opportunity to move up my units in a way that I think would be useful. Let's keep my howitzers firing, because may as well. for this colonial light because they can be frustrating let's come out and start dropping shells on this fire like on citizenry I suppose okay let's run okay now let's Start the uh, start the assault. So basically, I want to throw some up here to act as blockers to pin these units down. As these walls are clear, I want to be able to attack them, get up in good order, and run down. Um, one unit is going to go in here to sacrifice themselves to sit here and absorb any cavalry blows. So 
Okay, they're gonna look. They're looking mighty exposed. Okay, so then let's get you guys up here too. To be honest, let's get the militia and these remaining f colonial foot units to try and scale the walls. Let's get you to scale this section of the wall. Let's get you in a position to fire onto the fire onto the troops. Hmm. Try climb up the walls around it. So let's cease firing on my art my foot artillery. Run into position because I heard them charge. So it looks like they might try to run out. Or the f some of them might. Brave, silly dragoons. Garrison Miniman, except for for these guys. Let's just get them up on the walls. There we go. Everyone's just opening up on them. Let's not worry about getting off the walls just yet. So let, get, let's, the, let's, the, let's let these units just get on the wall. So if I do this, hopefully some of these men might redistribute to other ropes. So these guys are a bit out on a limb. Um, but so they're going to take this. So they're going to take it in their strides. I guess two, well, a unit of min Minutemen and some guerrillas. Hopefully, we can get some localized victories against other units. Well, these guys are being. Well, I suppose they are garrison Minutemen actually. They're not doing so well. Garrison militia coming in. Let's go send my other this other infantry unit to go fight them too. Let's keep this infantry unit safely climbing the wall. In fact, let's run them over here. So hopefully they garrison the inner fire step and fire down into these colonial light cavalry. See if I can. Colonial line 90 versus 104 and 11. They could win, you know. They're slaughtering them fast enough that they could. Okay, so these guys. No, no, wait, they're actually they're already going up the walls. Scratch that. So garrison the fire step, please. There we go. So they're going to pour lots of fire against the colonial light cav. 
present. Oh, some of them are stuck down the walls. Yeah, that unit's routed. Fair enough. Run, try to keep getting these guys up on the wall. I want to run, like, run these guys down just to take up a position at the, at the bottom of the uh, bottom of the ramp. To be honest, I could probably now just charge in. And just halt. This should go okay. Yeah. There you go, the, the colonial line cam getting chewed to bits. I want these guys to climb the walls just rapidly. Same with them. Well, to be honest, make them... Send them to attack them. I want to get people through the gap. And let's run them out there. Chopping them up. Ooh, so we're lining from tuning it routed, that's fair enough. Let's run them into the back of the garrison militia. She might move them to go hit the uh, hit the cavalry. It's only light cavalry at the end of the day. I send all these guys to abandon the battle for the wall and instead go attack the uh, breaching forces in the rear. Send these guys to finish off the Minutemen. AI pathfinding's kicking off again. Hit that unit of militia. Oh god. It's really starting to slow down now. The AI can't make up its mind what to do. We need to simplify their decision making by destroying some of their units. Yeah, it's not a PC problem, because my PC should be able to run it fine. It's just the stupid... Stupid pathfinding. But they don't need to pathfind so much, but they don't have as many units. And this is Pennsylvania. Well, no, wait, where's Pennsylvania? That must be it. Yeah, there's no one else. And it's stuff like that. They're all, them all getting caught on there will have cause the game to freak out. So if I... I'm going to test it. Okay, so if they... By the time they all get off of there... Because look, they're all doing some weird jump animation as they go around. Something got knocked to the ground... Come on. <laughs> Just 
just goes to show how quickly things go in uh, how quickly normal battles go. Okay, so what if I did this? What if I just went right? Pulled some guys out of the breach attack and just kind of let... Well, to be honest, that could be a way to, way to go about it. Just not send as many into the breach at one go. See, look at that. That's tidied up nicely. Still a bit clattery. It's just a bit inevitable, I guess. There's people dying everywhere. Is that their general? Yeah, it is. This guy's had enough. Oh, there's one guy is running. He's wavering. But he's not done. Okay, let's just abandon you. You're just a unit of six men. I can just run away from you. Oh no, may as well finish you off, actually. In the vain hope that might make the game run a bit easier. I'm going to get some more reinforcements to come. Let's just get them down to position to shoot under the square. And then probably capture it. Kill that one last guy with a thingy. Bash him over the head with your gun. Oh god, it's really stuff like this. But they're all engaged in combat, but not quite in combat. And you know what? Let's just run you out. Let's see if that does it. That helps. Temporarily, a little bit. This can this can sometimes screw it up when I have so many long units uh, garrisoning walls and stuff. But yeah, let's just let's just get hold of it. Gone to uh, ending this because it gets very very tiresome when the game does this. Well, the game will suddenly get over it. It will suddenly have a, a hump where it will suddenly get over it and then it'll be fine. And you, you don't know quite why it's done that, what it's done to come to that conclusion. It just decides that this time it likes it. Then run them on to charge the, uh, charge the general. See, it shouldn't normally take so long to take 27 cavalry down to 15. So only nine horses have died in that time. Must have managed to triple speed it because the the effects are ugly. <laughs> wow! Even triple speed doesn't do anything. It's still. Oh no, it's, it's at least making seconds chew along at the rate of seconds. Okay. No, I should just get you out. Uh, 
but this can be why quick climb is such a blessing. Come on, boys. There we go. So they're gonna smack cavalry, the artillery unit. Bash. <laughs> I do. Should make them pretty much, not instantly, being let's be honest, but pretty darn quick to the town square end of it fairly easily because we'll have just the super the general let's get back down to single speed so you've got to skewer Okay, what if I did what if I did this? If I pretty much just went right. This army. Just go. No, I actually do that, and then you garrison that building. Or attempt to. Just a you. So I'm pretty sure I did tell you to fight the general, but I don't know whether it registered or not. Okay, let's go back to triple speed, because that should have gone through by now. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's. I think it's just stuff like this. So it might be why I end up, in future, probably doing sieges, attacking the walls and probably not attacking the breaches in general, but just having forces stood there ready to run in. Um, or more liberal use of quicklime. Because yeah, there you go, in. Oh, that's the longest second of my life. Come on. Okay, let's go down to... God, no. Right, so what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to cut the battle here and then bring you guys back when we finished, because... <laughs> Sorry, guys, that happened so quickly. I had to cover my face. Um, I'm going to cut, cut you guys out and then bring you guys back in a sec when we finished. So thanks for watching, guys. Just a sec. I've come up with a cunning plan. Just simply withdraw your breaching troops. <laughs> Just call them all back. And things go lovely. Okay, so let's pick them all. Oh, no you don't. Don't you get any ideas. Just do this. Oh no, they actually did route. Oh no, they've now charged one of my units inside. Although that might end up going better for me. Yep. But yes, we're doing that. The problems have gone down. So I can just cut you guys back in so you can actually see the end of the battle in reasonable speed. Charge that guy. Get him. Oh, oh, nearly. Someone else has had a go? Having a go? No. Let's just end it. <laughs> God, yeah, for a minute there I thought, oh, it could be fun to do a siege. No. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna really gonna try to gain the AI next time. But yes, Philadelphia is ours. And we do get Independence Hall. And they are understandably very annoyed at us. So let's do all this. Let's replenish. Where's your... Oh, you don't have a university. You don't like me, though, because I'm a Catholic. But if I do this, you can just manage with me. Manage me, sorry. Signoria. So let's go... Sen Signoria? Oh, if I wanted to be super gamey. I can't. Because he's blocking me. 
if I if if this guy wasn't here, I could run this garrison over, attack this territory, capture it, then knock the American. Oh no, no way. Yeah, they would have knocked them out of the game. Let's see if I didn't have any guns. Oh no, I guess not. Someone's probably moved. Um, but yes, we have captured Philadelphia, and they don't like it. But what I am going to do. I used to start running my scouts up to areas like Montreal. And pray, where is this Montreal? Let's run my priest over to... Oh, Cherokee territory is already converted. So let's convert this region. Then eventually work our way up the coast. Because our priest here is an absolute beast. And he's only 38. So he's going to be fine for a long time. Yeah, that all that investment's already been done. Cool, that's gone really well. Um, but looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed my uh, attack of Pennsylvania. That's, except for the uh, stuttery bits at the end. Oh, Marines, Mexican Marines. Um, but yes, hope you guys have enjoyed. Hope you guys enjoyed the part. And I will see you the next time where could potentially... We're probably going to have a defensive battle here against these stacks. And an offensive battle against Cayuga, then we'll have knocked the Americans out of the game. Then the motion, the moves we'll be making, will be against Quebec. Potentially. Ooh, but absolutely Prussia. Because Prussia's allied with Russia, Quebec and Afghanistan. So if I declare on Prussia, I can draw in Quebec. I'm already at war with Russia, that doesn't matter. And I don't draw again to war with Austria. Now it might mean I might have some more troubles around here, but to be honest with you, Mexico, we've got a strong fleet and ready to rock and roll. Oh, so this is a... Oh. Okay, so let's promote you to an admiral. Hmm, interesting. Ah, oh, here's, my, here's my other fleet. Oh, it's a trade fleet. Cool. Let's, let's just expand your... Uh, Oh wait, you need trade for ships from up here. So let's take... Let's take this £24 of frigate and the trade ship. Deploy you here. Then let's take... Ooh, that's a very, very good admiral there. Let's take you off to the East Indies. Drop you on that trade node, which has currently got my battle fleet on it. So the battle fleet can, battle fleet can leave the theatre. Cool. Then let's... Let's move this fleet down to Cadiz. And then let's move this fleet and have them just start spamming Indiamen. Just keep building them every turn to churn one out. Heroic death. Oh, that was back here. It's a while ago. Um, cool. But anyway, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. We've kind of played on a little bit there. Thanks so much, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you next time.